Hey guys, what's going on? It's in the gym with Team Massive Joe's training some delts, baby, at one of our favorite fitness facilities in Adelaide. It is, of course, Well Gym. Training some delts with my brother and I, Massive Joe's Dernan Court store manager, Mick. Mick Noss. Massive Joe's warehouse manager, Boss Josh. And the infamous, the big nasty, Big Nevos. Big boy. What's going on, brother? We're back in this bitch. First in the gym with Team Massive Joe's for 2016, baby. Starting this workout off with some rotator cuff warm ups, of course. Well, especially on chest and delts, obviously yeah. we warm up our rotator cuffs, most pressing movements, but I'm gonna do it on and every single workout. Well, you're training at the moment with a with a recently freshly ruptured uh, latissimus dorsi, mate. Oh, but it's not holding me back though, is it? No, definitely not. But anyway, we've been spending. There's, there's been some injuries going around Team Massive Joe's at the moment, man. Ruptured lats, oh, torn say, biceps. Quickly, big ray. Fucking, there's big ray gun in the back right hand corner there. The cutting specialist V2 in the red T. Anyway, we've been spending some extra time warming up to make sure the injury streak does not continue at Massive Joe's. Yeah. Starting this deltoids workout off with the infamous 10 sets of 20 reps lateral raises, baby. Each set go a little bit heavier. Yeah, so I, uh, don't get it twisted. This has appeared in a workout before, and I believe it's in a uh, workout on our website too. Link is in the description box to all of our shoulder slash deltoids workouts. But the way you want to start this off, viewers at home, is you want to start super light. So I believe we started at like four kilos. Yeah, four or five kilos. And you want to go 20 reps per set multiplied by 10 sets. Mm. And you want to go as high as you can possibly go with your elbows on each set. Yeah. So you would have seen them first sets, we were going around the world, all the way up. And then obviously as it gets heavier, Big Mick here must be on like set five or six, I reckon. Yeah. You're not gonna be able to go, like the highest you'll be able to go is like shoulder height. Yeah. But you just wanna make sure that you're getting maximum contraction through the delts and, and obviously through the traps if you're going above your shoulder height with every single set. So by, yeah, I mean, if I think for set uh, number one, obviously as you yeah. said, we started with like four kilos. Yeah. And then by the end, by the 10th set, it was around like the 17 and a half. Well, I think my last set, you'll see in a second, I think my last set was around 20. But oh, you want to wanna, bit, move over, right? You want to, you, <laughs> you want to be, the, the key to it, there's a couple of keys to it. The first key to it is to be going as high as you can on the contraction with each rep mm. on each set. The second key to it is to make sure you're increasing the weight on every set. Yeah. So, so pace yourself. Yeah. And the third key is to keep the weight moving. Hmm. So you'll see here, I believe this is actually my last set here. You'll see the reps start off, they're clean. The reps are clean. The form is clean. I'm going as high as I possibly can with this weight. And then you see here, once I get to like reps 10 and onwards, they, they kind of become partial reps. Who's the quad bar behind you there? I don't know, mate, but monstrous. So you want to keep the weight moving. That's the most important thing. Keep it moving, keep it moving. This is obviously a pre-exhaust technique, particularly for your medial delts, hmm. but you got to keep that weight moving, baby. It's going to put a lot of No button. rest pauses, no drop button. sets. 10 sets of 20 reps, baby. I just want to put it out there though. Yeah. Even when my lat and delt and tricep is 100, yeah. I don't like going all the way around the world though. No, because your shoulder flexibility is shit. It's, 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 it's shit house. It's horrible. And then we moved on to some rear delts, man. Yeah. One of my favorite tri-sets, or you could call it a, you could call it a triple set if you wanted to, yeah, yeah. or you could call it a triple giant set if you yep. wanted to. Yep. I don't give a fuck. Yep. It's three rear delt exercises done in superset style, one after the other after the other. The first one is a cable rear delt fly. Like I was doing. The second one is a seated face pull, like big, rope face pull. Like Big Dick Mick is doing. And you're about to see Big Mick hit the third exercise, big which Dick is, Mick. and we, 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 have a, we have a disagreement over what this third exercise is actually called, Big Neve. I call it downhill skiing. I, I think downhill skiing is probably the best way. Except, uh, but I think the technical name for it is probably like a, a, a rear delt raise. 
some people just uh, know it as just just really shaking what your mama gave you when you're a bit low on cash. <laughs> <laughs> We've all been there. We've all been low on a few bucks. No, Whatever. You know, couple, I think I think the the generic term a couple team, a couple Joe's tandem wristies is uh, is is called downhill skiing. Yeah. Yeah. So combining those three, 10 reps on each exercise. So you're going to see me go through them now. 10 reps on each exercise, and we did the full tricep five Take times. Take your rhomboids out of it. Yeah, my, I'm losing a bit. This is my last set, though. F this is my last set. F this is my last set. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to do each each exercise five times in superset fashion, and you're aiming for 10 reps on each uh, so it's, it's each a, exercise. It's a total of 180 reps. Yeah. No, 150. 150. Go 150, 150 reps. Yeah. If we did it six if, times, it would have been one. If my maths were good, I would Maths has never been a strong time. point for big knee I don't believe in time or numbers. <laughs> <laughs> and you can see here, you know, uh, this, this is uh, the reason why you shot this big knee is to show the viewers what you should be trying to, to in any shoulder workout, you should be trying to hit all heads of the deltoid. Mm. But in particular, a lot of guys and girls, but guys in particular, will have overactive front delts. Me and you being one of them. Yeah, so prioritize your workouts and hit rear and medial delts. Yeah. To give you that overall shoulder development. And then go hit front delts. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Definitely, whereas uh, I'd say two to three years ago, yeah. you and I, Always and start with press. We'd start with a, a dumbbell Always. press, then move into like a Smith machine press or, yeah. a, or a standing barbell press. Or yeah. We'd hit like three pressing movements, then hit a side raise, then hit a rear delt raise. The prioritization's all wrong. Whereas now, all wrong. We'll hit side, side, delt, delt. Yeah. Maybe one, one front, maybe one pressing movement, and then, yeah. then a shrug movement. Yeah. And I think both of our shoulder, for both of us, our shoulder development has thanked us for that. Well, it's much more proportionate. We definitely got. We both got side delts now, whereas before it was just front delts. That's it. Ooh, and then we moved on. I don't know what the f Mick was doing, but then we moved on to one of my personal favorite overall shoulder exercises. I, got, I actually got asked this on uh, Periscope the other night. Yeah, you if did. I could pick one shoulder exercise to do and just one, what would it be? And this is what it would be. It would be a strict clean and press. How does Rich Froning's dick taste, man? No, because when you break it down, let's be serious for a second. It's a CrossFit movement. It's a functional movement. I'm not going to lie. But when you break a strict clean and press down, it's actually an upright row yeah. superset with an overhead press. Yeah. So you're going to hit, in the upright row, rear delts, traps, medial delts, in the overhead press front delts. Yep. There is not one exercise that you can name that hits all parts of the deltoids like a strict clean and press does, man. Yeah. I see where you're coming from. Yeah. I'm, I, I'm, I'm more, mine's more of like a power clean into a... Yeah. I, another, another, another exercise I suck at, let's be honest. And so the way we do these, we do five working sets. You want to take the clean and press to failure. And then once you get to failure, you want to then go and just do presses to failure, like Boss Josh is showing you here. And then once you've done presses to failure, you want to go and do upright rows to failure, as demonstrated by Boss Josh up in his bitch. I just want to say, I just want to put it out there as well. Yeah. I've put a lot of things out there in this video. You have. Uh, but if you go back, and you might even have to rewind it here. Yeah, yeah. But you and Boss Josh yeah. are wearing exactly the same outfit. Same get up, mate. You've both got, you, well, you've got your Jordans, he's got his Nike Hyper Dunks, whatever the they are. Yeah. you both got your black Team J Stryline socks. Yeah. Both got your black Team J Dry Fit right, uh, shorts on. Oh, Team both J, got, everything, Both baby. got your red Team J Dry Fit and both got your backwards black cap. That's it, man. Both got your Beats by Dre uh, Power Beats. Yeah. You know it. And then we moved on to finish this shoulder workout off with a direct traps exercise, man. Well, so as you and I don't hit a lot of trap. No, I do, because I've had, historically, I've had horrible, you go back to in the gym with Team Massive Joe's like two years ago, I had zero trap. Yeah, we hit one exercise for traps a week. Zero trap! We hit one trap exercise a week. No, f mate, we, do you, you hit traps doing the first exercise, 10 sets of 20 reps, then you hit traps doing the strict cleaning press, and now you're hitting traps again. Yeah, you're not and you hit traps with the rope face pull too. So you've actually hit traps in every exercise uh, this workout. Mate, I hit, tra I hit, <laughs> I hit traps 40 hours. I'm gonna re I, rename, uh, this workout should be called Trap City, bitch. I hit tra tra Trap City, Stop bitch. For a second, I hit traps 60 hours a week carrying this <laughs> company, <laughs> but I don't put that on my <laughs> training oh, schedule. Oh, no wonder you ruptured on that, mate. Too much pressure for the big <laughs> knee boss.
But we don't hit them directly <laughs> that often. Anyway, so we decided to do uh, seeded dumbbell shrugs here, ma'am, and in three stages. So you'll see Big Nevos in a second is going to demonstrate the Once three I get off stages. My phone. Uh, yeah. This is where I was updating my Snapchat. No, you're on Tinder, mate. <laughs> Wiping left. <laughs> is that good or bad? So you'll see Big Nevos. I have no idea. I just hear people talk about it. Uh, you want to start off leaning as far forward as you can. You're not doing a great job of it, but leaning forward. Mate. GH guts in the way, all right? And then when you when you hit failure, you want to rest, pause, and then sit back a little bit, and then go to failure again. Yeah. Like this. Yeah. And then once you hit failure again, you want to sit all the way back, rest, pause, and go to failure again. Yeah. So you're hitting the trap from all the angles, taking it to failure three times. Yeah. With a double rest, pause on each set. I so get what you're saying. Perfect way, man. You reckon it works that way, though? Mate. I think nothing oh. works. Nothing works as good as it, to be honest. What am I going to do now? You're going to hit the viewers at home with that there angry face. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, man. Stay up to date with all the latest editions of In the Gym with Team Massive Joe's and all the other deliciousness on our YouTube channel. Where we're coming to and from, Neve. Massivejoes.com. Stay massive.